I've been using the Surui monopod for about a year now, and I gotta say, it's one of, if not the best monopod on the market right now. Now recently, if you're into gear, you'll know that Liebeck has released a new hands-free monopod HFMP. Now these two monopods are very similar in a lot of ways, but they're also different in a lot of ways as well. They are the two monopods on the market right now that give you the most stability when locked in an upright position, so much so that you can keep a camera on top confidently even when the monopods are raised up a little bit higher. Both the Surui and the Liebeck feature similar style feet. On the Surui, you have metal feet as opposed to a rubber texture composite on the Liebeck. However, underneath, there is a metal structure. Both monopods fold up similarly with a button on the feet that allows you to unlock it and fold it up like so and like so. Even though both feet fold up almost exactly the same, there is a little difference. While the Surui has a button for you to fold up as well as release the feet, you can release the Liebeck without pushing a button. Both monopods have a more or less similar spread but the Liebeck does have more of a footprint. What this means is that the feet are not only larger, longer, but they also spread out a little bit more. So when you put them together side by side, you can see that the Liebeck has a lot larger footprint. While the Liebeck has a collar lock that can be activated with your feet like this, which makes it really convenient and quick, the Surui can do almost the same thing, except not as quick. But one thing extra that you do get on the Surui is not only do you have a collar lock that keeps the monopod straight, you also have a friction lock. The other differences between the monopods have to do with size, weight, and length. The Liebeck has a little thicker tubing and three sections, whereas the Surui has a little thinner tubing and four sections. That doesn't really mean that one is better than the other, that's just the way it is. The Liebeck is heavier and it's also a little taller when folded down to the minimum length. Even though the Surui is more lightweight and has thinner tubes, I think that the build quality between the two monopods are pretty much equal, with the Surui actually having a little more refinement as far as features and design. So with the Liebeck, you have locking tabs, so it opens like this. And with the three section, what that basically means is that it takes a lot less to get each to the same height. The Liebeck features locking tabs, which is really smooth and easy to use. And the Surui features the twist locks, which are also quick and easy to use. I think it really depends on what you're used to and what kind of shooting you do. One thing that I did notice is that if you have the Liebeck orientated in a certain way and you find that you're shooting and you need to make a quick adjustments, Sometimes you might not be able to just because the tab might not be right there. So that's one thing to note as far as the locking tabs versus the twist. Just make sure that you have the tab right where you need it to be. Whereas on the Surui, regardless of how you have the head positioned, you'll always be able to make that adjustment with the twist locks. The Surui has two extra features that some people might find useful. The first is the pan lock, which gives you a panning function. It's actually really smooth. When you lock everything down on Surui, you essentially have pretty much a tripod that doesn't take up way too much space. And that's what I really, really like about this monopod. Whereas on the Liebeck, when everything's locked down, you're still able to pan. When I'm trying to pan the head and I'm putting a little too much force, the fluidity of the head pan is superseded by the pan of the monopod. So what's basically happening is that the head is not panning as much so as the monopod is twisting left and right. So that's something to consider as well, depending on the style that you shoot. Another feature that the Surui has is the ability to remove the shaft and to put the head directly on the feet. So what that does is it allows you to create a hi-hat and get super low angles. Both these monopods are really nice and you can't go wrong with either one. If you tend to use your monopod more as a tripod and you tend to utilize the head, I'd say that the Surui is a really good choice. If you tend to do more traditional monopod movements like this, when you shoot, then the light back really shines. If you enjoyed the video, please click that like button and subscribe for more camera and video related content. Let me know in the comments below which monopod you want me to check out next.